Milan static link to Simba. He does Timber Chain away, but he's actually taking a lot of damage here. The right foot's plasma field. Is it going to be first blood for Milan? This salve not going to be enough. Milan gets the kill. Simba getting caught out. Did not expect that. Take the slate because they are against the Naga Siren as well as the Enigma. So. Is Grazine dead? They're just going to ensnare him. They've already riptided, I believe. The spirits are going to go through. There's the dust that Big Daddy does have. But they're going to come in. Crooked doesn't have his song. They were just here a second ago. The ensnare is actually rather the overcharge just work. Double kill for Crokey. The mirror images. The was like, please, you've got to be kidding me. He's going on the illusions. No Tail is going to work. The spirit's coming in. And he might die, but they do get the fire blast off. But a triple kill coming in from Crokey. He is at 23 Okay, and the Jin Honest Strike will get the kill. We need to get a bottle. S4 takes the tower top. Ice Pack goes in. Big Daddy in some trouble. No relocate. He's going to get fire blasted. S4 is trying to help out as best as possible. Big Daddy's going to heal up with the bottle. And the Spirits Cuisine. Oh, look out, buddy. He does get the kill. Hatawa now. There's the tracker on S4. The Shrika Toss. The right click. The Janata. And Hatawa with the clump. Yeah, and S4 is level 8 now. So they will take this tower down extremely fast. It looks like MYI are going to rotate both the Ogre and the Bounty Hunter to the bottom oh. lane. Uh, S4 is going to get caught out. There's the track going in. Liquid Fire. Fire Blast. It is going to be the uh, multicast coming in. The relocate from Big Daddy. They get maybe a kill here on Hatawa. Arrow does sail through and miss. They've already lost their S4 to Kiro. Fire Blast on a Simba. Track was used and no tether to get Simba out. Yeah, He's actually alone. Unfortunately. Yeah. So Ignite's going to come in. Simba in some trouble. Looks like Big Daddy gonna come to save the day again, but no! 10 minutes. Nice path, about to fly. It's gonna connect on the tail end. Mitch still might be in trouble. Liquid Fire might bring him down. Chakram gonna go through, just misses. Milan static link onto Big Daddy, but he avoids himself. Meanwhile, Kuroki getting the kill on Hatawa. That's in the mid lane or wrapping around. And now they're gonna come in. Puppy has a haste through, and he's not using his black hole. His Malphite was just popped. Body blocks from Kuroki. Milan can't go anywhere. He will get one kill, and that'll be onto Big Daddy, but he's gonna fall and trade. And Kuroki getting involved in that kill is pretty important. He has 4k gold. He's going to have a 10 minute relic and maybe a 12 minute rating at this point. That's actually just disgusting. And the courier. Oh, it's ensnared. Goodbye. Oh my. How are they going to deal with Nagra Siren? Puppy gets arrow. Track is up. Now the ensnare coming in. He's actually got no shadow off for another second or so. They already have used their uh, Riptide. Multicast into Big Daddy. Kuroki comes in and he does get the kill, it looks like. They're going to look for more here. He's trying to chase down Hatawa. Another TP coming in, this time coming out from Simba. He does get back involved. Kuroki's gonna get fire blasted. Arrow just misses coming out. Another relocate coming in. There's the song. They want to fight this. Black Hole is available, by the way, for Puppy. If they want to use it. They're gonna pop up the ice path onto two. Beautiful angle. And there's the black hole onto Milan. They blow up one. Hitawa is already dead. Milan is about to fall as well. And an easy fight. Easy tower. And he can just stay bottom. He can actually just TP all over the map. So. Simba was actually getting relocated on as they were looking for maybe some help. Lazar is going to get chased down. The dust is going to go. That'll slow him a bit. Looking for him. S4 is going to come through the ice path. It is going to connect somehow. That angle from S4, though. Know that it, this is on cooldown. So. Arrow's going to connect on to Simba. Will they fight this? Yule Scepter is going to go. That's actually going to be Jakiro's Yule. Plasma Field, Simba getting caught out. Now there's going to be the overcharge coming in. S4 gets blown up. Krasine with an immediate double kill. The tower now song is going to fly. Oh, Ice Path is up in three, three seconds. Hole? Yeah, this is going to be huge. Puppy's going to come in. There's the black hole. There's going to be the huge, huge Jakiro ultimate as well. Kuroki dishing out. So much damage. Grazine's going to try to come in. Kuroki ensnares him immediately. He's got a remnant away, and he will do so. I'm surprised they didn't get more off the back end of that. Maybe Milan is going to get caught out. There's the Yule Scepter. Chakram Ice Path. That'll be more than enough damage. The relocate out from Big Daddy just to stay alive. Slight of Fist. Zero chance coming in. Kuroki will get arrowed. Overcharge. He's still alive. The remnant doesn't really do that much damage. Ice Path coming in. Now Fist as well. They grab the kill on Grazine at this point. Let's see. So how many slots? Four. Relocate coming in. Now they're going to be up on the high ground. Kroki's looking for a kill. There's the song to start things off. And S4 wants to get in good position. They're going to maybe look for a black hole. They actually avoid most of the song. Grazine is here. Ice path going in. A towel gets blown up. Grazine's going to come in. Slide of fist. Searing chains. Mecha's going to fly. They relocate back out. Late game. So after you TP back, they just split up to farm again. And they just, I mean, that, it's as simple as just an easy relocate. And they don't even need anything from Kroki. It's like, okay, Radiance Burn, you're all dead. Tawa's even going to fall now as well. Kuroki's going to walk up to the high ground. And then make sure they just leave Kuroki alone to his own devices. And he'll just get an easy double kill. He's monster kill right now. Meanwhile, mid lane slide. This is going to go. Grazine is going to get Yules up. Ice Path's going to fly. And it's like, I think Grazine's actually just... Oh, he remnanted out or slide of fist. 
I think he remnant it at first, but Milan's actually too far up now. Macropyre is going to fly. Milan is actually just not nearly tanky enough to deal with Kuroki at this point. Scotty, 3.5k gold. Big Daddy might die. Uh, yep, there's the Dagon from Lazard. How are you? Gives him the zap. The Taze are going to do well. The Ice Cat's going to connect, though. And, I mean, four heroes are dead for MYI, and at this point, they're probably going to lose a set of racks pretty soon. So. Like I was saying, with how secret I like to play so. Kroki is going to take an arrow to the face. Cuisine is going to get uh, absolutely obliterated. Kroki does die, luckily. That's a big streak coming out. I'm not sure who got that one. It looks like Mitch did. S4 is going to get killed as well. Big fight coming out from MYI now. Simba is going to take a spill as well. Double kill came out from Milan. In fact, Puppy has to get away. He's too far up now. They will chase him down. Arrow! It's going to connect. Puppy gets hit in the backside. Kroki's going to buy back. He might even bots into this and try to fight one versus three. The song's going to go. He is absolutely alone now. Here comes No Tail. And Big Daddy's ready to fight. The song's going to go away. Hitawa in some trouble. The slide if this does go, Big Daddy in trouble. He'll fall, but Krasin's going to try to man up. But Kuroki is 1v4 in the entire enemy team. Slide if this series chain's going, Kuroki is still just man fighting. Krasin has no remnant. One more right click. They take in. He goes down. He's dead. Nearly all of the damage coming up from the map with the illusions. Arrow's going to hit onto S4. The ice cap did go. Fire Blast going as well. The Insera's up, but... Just gets caught out of position. The active was also popped for the, uh... It's like, I don't really want to fight that hero. Kroki's gonna come into this song. There's the Insera to Milan. And he has his BKB. He's gonna have to pop it. He'll try to TP out as well. But look at the right click. He does get away. Slide if it's going into Big Daddy as well as Kuroki. But there's the song. Crimson Guard getting popped up, I believe, at the right time. Big Daddy actually has to back away. Kuroki. Chakram, Mitch, Ice Path. He cannot get away. And he will fall. Shuruka Toss does not get to kill. Kuroki's age is about to be expended. And it will... The relocate now coming out from Kuroki. He couldn't get the help of uh, Big Daddy, rather. He couldn't get the relocate off to get Kuroki back home. I have the storm's gonna get popped, and Milan is gonna try to fight this. Kuroki should have some snare in a couple of seconds. Big ice path onto two, the black hole onto four as well. The Riptide macro power chewing through MYI. Hitawa gets blown up, four dead. And I expect the GG call to come out any second from now. Kuroki is gonna go for the tier fours because screw it, I'm farmed enough. Oh my god. What a game from Kuroki, man. Really well played from, I would say actually all of Secret. You know, just knowing exactly what they can get away with. The landing phase was a little rough for them, but, you know, securing their late game, getting those early towers on the THD, and you just can't allow this team to have this. It's just too strong. At least the way that they play it. Ban this year out, is yeah. what you're saying to uh, MYI next game? It's, I mean, it's really hard to ban against Secret because there's three heroes that you need to get rid of for their team.